a lot of people feel like you've used them and thrown them to the wayside and they waited for the day that you needed them again. And some of these guys are thinking you need them again because they're looking around there saying, Drake, there's nobody getting your back. There's a, oh, wait, you think you think academics and Aiden Ross and Kaisa and that is going to convince yeah. the culture that you're still the guy as opposed to Kendrick and 55 other rappers who are saying you're not? Oh, you do need us, Nate. That's, mm. hey, that is a point. That is a point. Mm. That's a point. I'm being honest with you. That is a point. Drake promising people interviews. Drake promising niggas verses. Drake, yes. And by the way, Drake knows it too. I know Drake knows it. I know Drake knows it. Mm -hmm. Drake knows it. Me and him, we've talked, and through our conversations, he knows it. He might be a little bit oblivious to it, but he knows it. Right, right, right. And I'll leave it there, because I don't want to go into no specific examples. Those are private conversations. But he knows it. There's a lot of people who have resentment for him, whether it's artists. There's certain artists that he intended to work with. But for whatever reason, they couldn't agree on a song. They couldn't agree on the timing, the release of the record. Those artists felt away. They felt played. They felt that Drake was only tapping in when they were hot. And when they fell off a little bit, they started getting mad. <laughs> this motherfucker Drake, he played me about releasing the record, spun me like a fool when I was hot. Now I need the nigga to get back hot. He's nowhere to be found. Some of those people allegedly popped out. I've realized that. And again, for the people, this is not a glaze. This is nothing like that. I think Drake does have to think about that. In your path and your route to the top, people felt, and maybe, maybe some of that, what Kendrick was talking about, people felt that a lot of these relationships that you allegedly forged were not real. They were fake. They were one-sided. They felt it only served you. And they felt manipulated, used, this and third. Now I get it. There's Drake fans and even myself and probably Drake himself that would say, how? I collaborated with you or I gave you an interview at, at the time. You were the guy to get the interview. Why when now I'm still the guy and you're not the guy anymore? Or oh, do I have to come up to Hot 97 and give you another interview and another Funk Flex freestyle for you to speak positively about me? And it's not like it's pay to play for positives, but, but for you not to just blanketly hate? Nah, stop. Nah, nah, nah. nah see, I, I was riding with you until this point. Oh, shit. Here we go. He about to make a smash burger. He about to make a Drake smash. See, I, I was I was with you all up until then, and 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 now you're trying to bail him out. Nah, here he go. He's about to get the beef patties out. He's about to get the extra mayo, extra mayonnaise. He's switching knee pads. <laughs> He's over here trying to figure out which 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 knee pads he gonna use. Uh, see, see, I was I was I was riding with you all the way up until then. But come on, come on, I'm gonna need you to clean it up. Call a thing a thing. Call a spade a spade. Now, come on, stop, just stop, stop. You was, you was, you was actually telling the truth for once. Come on now, stop trying to bail him out. What's up, soul mate? Stop trying to bail him out. Come on. This is a think chat. I'm not gonna say it is for everybody, but what what Rosenberg said is a hundred percent very very common among a lot of people who I've even talked to. Because there was a lot of motherfuckers who used to be, oh yeah, Drake used to tell me this, he used to tell me when he's putting out that. That's not the case no more. Drake only tell me. Yeah. And then they, when I talk to them, they feel, they kind of feel like, what, word? It's like, it's almost like, like a little, not jealousy in a way, but it feels like it. I'm like, oh shit, well, I'm not taking it away because what the fuck I got to do with me? And also, I'm never jealous of Drake's relationship with nobody, but also people might look at it and they might think about it across the board. But academics, you, you just said that he only uses people for the time being. Now, whether y'all like it or not, you know, academics, a a academics is definitely a, a, a key factor in this hip hop, you know, as, as him covering, covering uh, social media. You know, he's he's dominant on social media, whether it comes to YouTube or Instagram or, you know, just covering hip hop. You know, he's he he, he is a staple figure and in, in, into this and. Drake knows that academic has a large following, right? He 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 has a large following, uh, and he can reach out to not only the masses but especially the youth. He knows that academics has the audience has has the youth audience. So what better way to persuade, um, you know, his audience by acting like that he's being cool with him? So academics, what you need to be worrying about. Well, I don't know if you're worried about it, but is your day going to come? 
Is your day going to come when, when you don't get that call from Drake no more? When you text him and he don't respond back? Then how are you going to feel? Then are you going to come back and you're going to say, oh, damn, this is what people have been talking about. You know, I thought Drake was this. I, I thought Drake was that. Is he still going to be your number one artist? When he going to do you dirty just like he did everybody else? I'm waiting until that day. Yeah. I don't think Drake is... I, I think Drake is just using academics like he's using everybody else because he know academics has has a, has a larger audience and he can reach the youth. But Drake is definitely going to um, <laughs> distance himself from academics. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Two, three years ago, Drake was in... Um, what's that song that he dissed... Um, uh, or, or, well, Dirk dissed uh, 6 9 on... What's this song called? I'm in a club, relax. Like, play me that boy in a club. What's it called? I'm in, what's the name of that song? What's the name of that song? I forgot the name of that song. Um, oh, Laugh Now, Cry Later. And people might be like, well, shit, if we go here, first of all, bunch of things. You're with Dirk. In 2020, who's hotter than Dirk? It's 2020. But not only that, the person who we couldn't see Drake without was him and Drewski. Him and Drewski was like this. It felt like Drewski was OVO. Not, by the way, I'm not saying him and Juicy's not cool. These days, Drake, Sexy Red. What's the name of that song? We see a new comedian. Oh, my God, they're going to hate on me. Cloud chasing. So you're basically saying Drake is a professional elite clout chaser. If, if you got some clout, if you have some social media presence, and especially the youth, always got to tap into the youth. So if, if, if you got the eyes of the youth and you can reach them, he he going to tap in and he going to ride your wave. You with this fucking ad blocker shit. We see a new comedian. It's Ben the Don. They're like, well, Ben is like the hot. I don't know. I'm, I'm not saying that's what it is or what it's not. Um, obviously, you know, you know, Drewski's really successful. So I'm pretty sure Drewski's not like, damn, he used me. Right. Yo, he used me. And now he's fucking with a new comedian. Right. See, now that's Ben the Don right here. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure there might be another comedian after Ben Adonis. He might be kicking it with him. Do <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Mm. I don't think people look at it like that, right? A lot of people look at it like that. But some people do take it that personal. A lot of people don't look at it like that. Now, some people, remember, when Drake first showed love to, um, when Drake first showed love to the streamers or streaming community, he popped on with Ninja. Years later, he's only fucking with Kai and Aiden. Mm. Uh oh. Ninja, I don't want to say my boy fell off. I don't think he fell off. But Ninja ain't the same Ninja with that type of whatever. This is how Ninja spoke about it. You can get your name stitched on the back, also pretty dope. Um, I. Corbin Jackman's new album, you can get your name stitched on the back, also pretty dope. Um, I. You know, is he gonna buy, you know, my next line of ninja merch? You know? Or my ninja headband? Probably not. I feel like. Drake saw that I was up and coming in the gaming scene, and he thought it would be a perfect way to just tap into another source of, of viewers by playing with me. Yo. Bingo! Bingo! Right? I mean, that's 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 clear as day, right? That's clear as day. People, people already seen that he's a leech. He's a he's a clout chaser. He's a wave rider. He's a he's a he's a colonizer. Just <laughs> he's not a colleague. He's a colonizer. So this just confirms. I think this right here just confirms what everybody thought about him, right? This is just confirmation, like, damn it. I've been saying it all along, man. Here goes the proof. Pretty sure there might be another comedian after Ben Adonis. He might be kicking it with him. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I don't think people look at it like that, right? But some people do take it that personal. Now, some people... Remember, 
when Drake first showed love to um when Drake first showed love to the streamers or streaming community, he popped on with Ninja. Years later, he's only fucking with Kai and Aiden. Mm-hmm. Ninja, I don't want to say my boy fell off. I don't think he fell off. But Ninja ain't the same Ninja with that type of whatever. Mm-hmm. That's how Ninja spoke about it. But someone, you can get your name on. But someone said, "Who is Ninja? He's a very popular gamer, stream game, stream stream gamer. You know, he's a uh, big in Fortnite. So if you don't know about him, I'm sure your nieces or nephews may know about him. You know, Fortnite. I don't think Fortnite is 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 as big as it is back then. Um, I tried playing Fortnite. Nah, I I just think we Call of Duty." You know what I'm saying? Speaking of, you know, if y'all do play Call of Duty, you know what I'm saying? Check out your boy. I do got a gaming channel. All right. So if y'all want to get smoked on Call of Duty, you know what I'm saying? Holla at your boy on my gaming channel. Yeah. So if y'all want to get smoked in Call of Duty, you know what I'm saying? Follow your boy. I'll be playing the Call of Duty. All right. So I do got a gaming channel. Matter of fact, I'm going to be going live today. So if you if you niggas want to pull up, y'all want to get the 1v1s. Y'all want to roll on, you you know, we can do the war zone. We can do the rebirth. You know what I mean? Follow me on my gaming channel, okay? Follow me on my gaming channel, all right? I'm about to put the link in the comment section. So if you niggas want to smoke, you know, if y'all if want to pull up on the kid, you know, this is my gaming channel, all right? Just in case, damn deep nice. I'll be over here getting it in on Call of Duty, all right? So follow your boy on Call of Duty on, 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 my, on my gaming channel. Mm-hmm. 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 If y'all want to get smoked, if y'all want to get the 1v1s in Call of Duty, or if y'all want to squad up, you know what I mean? Go follow me on my gaming channel. Let's get it.